YouTube, so we're back on the phone camera because I don't have the GoPro with me. Um, I think the camera's getting fixed by itself because all of a sudden it doesn't have a little glass piece in the lens and it seems to focus a lot better than it did before, so hopefully it's fixed. But so you guys know the parts bike, but if you guys notice that gap is pretty small. So, new project, already started, I couldn't film it because I didn't have a GoPro, so I just, it's a hard tail, I'm going to eventually weld these and put some spacers in there, but we're just getting the frame fixed up because I have a perfect engine to replace the 50. Let's come over here. Boom. Monson. 110cc going in that. Gonna take all the parts needed to make it run off the launching, put it on this bike, and then we're gonna put slicks eventually. Because T-Bolt sells some slicks that fits these tires for 60 bucks for two. Uh, that engine will that one will come up in a video upcoming, hopefully soon uh don't know if the card rate is good actually i haven't checked it but this is going uh we might have to steal a shift lever or this uh kickstart though for to put on a launch when we put it in here because this bike's kind of low even just starting it now with it this low you hit the ground but but it works, so. Uh, plastics, gonna hopefully defade them and then we have to buy some new uh, panels just for, I don't know if I'm gonna replace the whole thing, but I just need, we need the front ones, or at least one of them, I think. I think the other one's fine. Yeah, this one's good. But, so we need one left front panel. Probably gonna keep the seat just for now. Might just reupholster it. Um, the actually the seat's broken. I don't know. Um, needs a rear fender and two rear panels because we used one of them for actually no one rear panel. We used one for Trevor's bike and the other ones in the parts over here. And then uh, exhaust. Most likely we're gonna have to buy one of those because. I will show you what Trevor did to the other one. That is the exhaust. He wanted to see the difference between this pipe and his pipe, kind of like on his bike, straight piped. So he cut this one, and the way that it is, this was what was on it, and he kind of did a hack job, and there's dust coming out of that. Um, and there's really no way of putting this back on. I would say just weld it, but that's pretty bad. So it might just be straight pipe for a while. Unless I can fit the Lawson exhaust on it, but I, Lawson's pretty much straight pipe anyways. Um, so we covered, we did the van. We made, whenever we paint, we painted this long back. I think we actually did a video on it. Um, I know I posted pictures of it during the painting process on the Pit Bike Amigos website, which is still on the domain, still the, with the Airsoft Creations, but that's, I don't know the full domain, so I would say it on camera, but I don't know, it's like, it's like airsoftcreations.com slash, or dot, wix.com slash airsoft creations one or something i don't know hopefully i might just make a whole new one but it'll take a while so i'm um, obviously going to replace bars and stuff but that's it for now so we're back with the project uh you can see forks we painted been painting a bunch of stuff uh, mainly blue and some black bars, nothing, we're just going to throw them away, probably. Um, yeah, this, 
Yeah, bearing's bad. YOLO. Uh, swing arm, painted blue. The hard tail thingy is, those mount things are blue. That's blue. We were gonna paint it black like the other thing because we felt like there was gonna be too much blue, but our black decided to take a pooper. So we have no more black and all we had is blue. So we painted blue. And we'll get back to you once the whole bike's put back together. Or at least most of the